Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to replace your Canon PIXMA ink cartridge for printers MG2522 and the TS3322 as well. In this tutorial, not to be redundant, I'm going to only replace the black ink cartridge and not the color. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you want to do is make sure your printer is plugged in and then go ahead and press the power button on the TS3322 or the MG2522. And when you do, you can hear the ink cartridges reposition themselves. And I'm expecting the black ink LED light to come on and it just did. And I'm surprised the color ink didn't come on as well because I've been using that for uh, making the black ink um, with the combination of colors for a while because my black ink cartridge has been out and on low for a long time. Okay, let's go ahead and get underneath here and drop the lid and as you can see the ink cartridges are repositioning themselves once the door is open to allow easy access to them. And on the left hand side here is the color ink cartridge and then the black ink cartridge. Now I'm going to push down right on top and you can hear that little click. And now I can easily remove the ink cartridge right out of the ink slot there. And this is the black uh, 245 um, ink cartridge and it's empty and I'll just put that right up top there for now and grab the new one which is the PIXMA 245 XL version and this is the genuine Canon ink cartridge it's not a remanufactured or a refill and let me go ahead and remove the plastic lid off of the plastic container which will allow me to pop out the new cartridge out of that container. And the last thing I need to do is to pull this yellow film off of the ink cartridge print head there. And we're all set and ready to put that right into the empty slot at an angle. Push it in and then kind of push it up a little bit and you can hear that click and that means it's in place and we're all set and ready to go and let me get rid of that uh, old ink cartridge there I don't need that any longer and I'll close the door or maybe not let me try this one more time without fumbling the door lid and I got it this time and you can hear the ink cartridges repositioning themselves and this printer is ready to print with the newly installed black ink cartridge now let me grab my camera here and we can move up on top of the printer and you can see that the black ink LED light is out. However, the cutter ink LED light is now telling me that it is low on ink and at the beginning of this video I mentioned that I was surprised that that one was not lit because I had been using the cutter ink for some time and I knew I was going to need to replace that very soon. Okay, um, keep in mind to replace uh, both ink cartridges. It's the same method that I showed you in this video. And I'll be replacing the color ink cartridge for this printer very soon once I order a new one. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.